All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you pook, with an unboxing, this time of the Sony Alpha 5100. Let's take a look. All right, so here is the lovely box here. And um, this is of the American model, by the way. So as you see here, uh, we'll go over the box and then we'll open this bad boy. So we got you know, Sony Alpha 5100. E mount lens. There's also an uh, E mount to A mount converter that you can get if you already have A mount lenses from Sony. Uh, wi Fi certified, all that stuff. Then on the left hand side here, you have just uh, stuff about what it is like interchangeable lens, digital camera, barcodes, stuff like that. Nothing exceptionally interesting. <laughs> And then on the right hand side you have the uh, different accessories uh, you can get like a lo little uh, leather uh, handle case here uh, you can get extra battery pack chargers tripod stuff like that on the top here if you're looking at it like this this would be the top area you have the different formats that you can put it in it, you know it does 4k still image and then on the bottom here, it's pretty much almost like the top, except it goes over some of the extra features in here. So it runs the uh, Bions X sensor, Wi-Fi certified, as I said, DLNA certified, full 1080p HD. Um, this is a 24.3 megapixel camera, fast hybrid autofocus, uh, touch focus shutter, and built-in flash. So that's pretty cool. So uh, you guys might be wondering uh, what are some improvements that the 5100 has over the 5000, which is this camera's predecessor. And uh, there's a, a lot of little ones, but the two that come to mind, or three rather, is the increased uh, megapixel size. The original 5000, which I have, is about 20 megapixels. So this one improves it by about four. The original can only record up to 24 uh, frame per second video. This one can do up to 60. Also, this has a, a touch focus screen, so you can focus on multiple points by using the touch screen, which is like really cool, because that was one of the problems I had with the original 5000, was that it would, focus, it would just randomly focus on one thing, and you know, it wouldn't uh, focus on the thing that I wanted it to. So, yeah, no worries with this one though. So, anyway, I think we covered all the sides except for the very bottom, which is just a lot of really small print here. <laughs> I can't even read it. So, I think we covered all sides of this box. So, let's open up this bad boy, huh? Okay. And it says here, for US customers only. Or those that speak the English, pretty much. Uh, limited warranty, stuff like that. Um, registration here. Uh, let's see, it has a lens accessory booklet, which goes over the various lenses and stuff. Uh, the, oh, this, one, this one's in French looks to be so because this is actually for us and canada so this is probably for our fellows in quebec <laughs> and then here's the uh the manual here in english it's pretty cool and then uh let's pop the top here and then we have the camera right here and then the various little accessories on the inside so we have the little uh charger dongle here you just plug this into the wall or whatever. Put that up to the side. You have the strap. Pretty cool. Does what it does. <laughs> a little tiny uh, USB cable to attach it, the uh, the camera to the charging block here uh, while it's charging. It's not very long, but it's long enough to get the job done. That's what she said. <laughs> hey -o. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Here is the battery, right here, it's the Sony NP-FW50, it is 1020 milliamp hours, 
So for you battery geeks out there, if you're wondering how long this will last, there you go. So enough of my further blabbering. Let's get on with the uh, Zippy Stead Easy Stunts. The camera. And I think that's everything in the box. So I'm gonna set the box aside here so we can uh, make room for the camera and I have some workspace here. So uh, the particular one that I got is just the body. I'm just gonna be using the lens here for this camera. So anyway, that said, cool. So it says here, fast uh, hybrid autofocus. It's pretty cool. Just take the little sticky Madoo bop off. It's got a little dangly thing here, which talks about the uh, the image sensor. It's an APS-C image sensor. Uh, the actual size apparently is that. So that's how big the actual sensor is in relation to the camera. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, and it goes up, goes over. Uh, a couple little stats here, you know, 24.3 megapixels. It has an ISO value of 25,600. It has 179 autofocus phase detection points versus the, um, I believe the uh, original five, or, or I believe the original 5,000 only had uh, about 50 or so, if I remember right. You know, you can fact check me if you want, just look it up online, so. I believe it had only 50, and this one has 179, so that's pretty freaking awesome. It has a, t a touch focus and shutter, so that means you know you can like press the thing and it'll you know, take pictures for you. I'm not a personal fan of it, but uh, if, if you like to do it that way, that's cool. So um, <clears throat> I do like the touch focus though; that is nice. So um, main differences as far as cosmetic go for this camera versus the 5000. The, uh, the zooming wheel is a little bit different. It's a bit sleeker looking. Uh, the buttons are a lot more metallic feeling. It, it all, it just all in all feels like a much more rugged camera. The actual shell out here has more of like a gritty texture. It feels a little bit more like non-skid versus the 5000 which had more of like a smooth kind of like a, think of like polished metal. So the 5000 had like a polished metal feel. This one feels a lot more gritty. So I guess that's good for like gripping and stuff like that. So that's cool. Um, they actually, speaking of which, the grip is about the same really. Uh, dimension wise and everything else, it feels about the same. I'm sure it may be a bit lighter, but uh, as far as actual just putting it in your hand and feeling it, it feels about the same. But there is one notable difference, which I like. Now the door on the 5000 was just like a one piece door. You just open it, bam, there it is, and that's it. And you'd have to have the whole door open if you wanted to uh, charge it from right here. But what they did for the five for the 5100 is they made a separate little mini door, as you can see here, so you can charge it without you know, opening the door all the way and having your SD card exposed and whatnot. So I think that's just pretty cool. Oh, and speaking of which, SD card goes here. <laughs> if you didn't know already. So, yeah, man. It's a really cool looking camera. And uh, if you guys are wondering why I got the 5100 over like the 6000 or the 7000 series, um, for one, <laughs> I didn't really have the money for it. But uh, the main reason I got it was because of this. A uh, little flip screen that goes all the way up. It's very useful for doing videos like this. Um, so that way you can see yourself without having to, you know, look at a monitor off to the side so it looks like you're just looking at the monitor. I mean, it's right here. So you can look at the monitor without looking like you're looking at the monitor. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I don't know. So, got that. Um, and looking at the back here, the display scroll wheel looks a little bit different. But other than that, if you're familiar with the, uh, the 5000 series or the, uh, even a series before that, the next line of cameras, you'll be in fairly familiar territory here. So, that said, this completes my unboxing of the lovely Sony Alpha 5100 uh, mini DSLR camera. So yeah, this is the Andy-san, signing for now, thinking you guys, boop. 
for tuning into my unboxing of this camera and watching my other stuff. Also, Scott, thank you guys for liking the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.